Y'all know what it is already, right? It's your boy Quest, and this is your marriage moment. <laughs> Let's go. What up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Marriage Moments. It's your boy Quest. And as always, for those who don't know me, it's your boy Quest. Now, um, shouts out to everybody, man, who have been uh, keeping in contact with us. And let me just jump right into it. Um, this is number four of the four part video series that we've been doing on the Grow Manifesto, where video number one, we talked about the decisive nature of a person, right? And although God is all four areas of the Grow Manifesto, we want to speak specifically to the decisive nature of God, right? Which is the G in Grow, which is where all marriages should start with anyway, right? And that is the G type, right? The G in Grow. And we said that the G type deals with um, how you approach decisions, how you approach problems, that the G type is very demanding, very driving, very forceful. Why? Because they get results. They have a need to be in the driver's seat. That is your G type. We said the R type, right? Which is relative to the I in the disc assessment, right? The R is for relationship in grow, and that tends to deal with interaction. Who you are when you are interacting with others and sharing opinions. And we said that the R type is a very enthusiastic type person, very persuasive, very inspiring, right? They love to be in the company of people, right? And that is your R type. Then we spoke and said that the O type, right? Which stands for oneness, is relative to the stabilizing person, right? Now that is relative to how they pace things in their environment. Very slow to move, right? Um, and as they move at their own speed, they're also very supportive. Not big decision makers, right? They don't really like to make decisions. They like to be more or play more of a supportive role. And that's the O that deals with oneness today. We're dealing with the W, AKA the dub type, right? Which is the W in grow. And the W stands for willingness. The willingness uh, to be detailed, the willingness to be structured. And as a matter of fact, that's exactly what you're dealing with when you're dealing with the dub type, right? The dub type person is very structured, very organized. As a matter of fact, they take a whole lot longer to make a decision. They might even keep the information gate open, right? To receive more information in case something changes and then they might change their decision. Um, and I know some of you, if you're married to a dub type, you might say, oh, they take forever to make a decision. It's not that they're taking forever to make a decision. It's that the dub type considers all the details that the G type, the R type or the O type don't even consider sometimes. And here's the funny thing about the, the, the dub type. When they make a decision, it's going to be right. Why? Because they're all about making and doing something right the first time. I'm gonna say it one more time. The dub type is concerned about doing it right, but not only doing it right, doing it right the first time. And so if you have anything that needs to be proofread, right? They, they pride themselves on knowing all the information. They don't want any mistake. Another thing with the dub type, they like the O type, right? Don't like surprises. They like to have all the information. And if you're approaching a dub type, when it comes to uh, anything, make sure you've done your homework because they would have already done theirs. So that's what you're dealing with the dub type. Surefire signs that you are married to a dub type, right? They're very orderly, right? They're very logical in their approach. Everything with the dub type deals with facts, right? Um, they're very cautious in their movements, right? They're very suspicious of you and your solutions, right? Um, another thing is that they're very questioning. They will question what they need to question in order to find out the information they need to find out in order to draw their conclusion, right? Here's the funny thing about the dub type. Just like any of the other areas, the G type, the R type, or the O type, right? Where your superpowers, if not intentional and deliberate, can sometimes become destructive. So in the case of the dub type, right? Which is the W in grow, like we said, the orderly uh, attribute of the dub type can sometimes come across as compulsive. The logical attribute of the dub type, right, can also come across as critical, right? Because if it doesn't make sense and if it doesn't line up with, uh, according to how they're thinking, then they might become a little critical. The teachable part of 
the dub type because they're always willing to take in information. Why? For them, information is everything because it, it loads them up in terms of ammo as it relates to facts. Here's the funny thing though, that teachable can turn into easily offended. Why? Because if you're giving them information and that information tears down or breaks the current way that they're doing something, because they pride themselves on being informed, they could become uh, easily offended. The cautiousness of the dub type can easily turn into being fearful. Why? Because they take a long time to make a decision, right? And if they take a long time, they can be in their head for too long. And them being in their head for too long, if they're not intentional and deliberate, can turn into being fearful. And lastly, they're questioning, right? If they're not intentional and deliberate, that questioning can turn into doubtful. So those are some of the attributes that can t let you know if you're being ma if you're married to a dub type. But y'all already know what I say about this, man. From shaky to good, from good to great, ultimately what we want is phenomenal. But phenomenal don't just happen, it takes work, right? First thing, working on getting the assessment taken. If you haven't taken the assessment and you wanna know how you and your spouse are wired, just look down in the comments below, man, and get my information, contact me, and I'll make sure that you get the info needed to take that assessment and I can possibly do a breakdown for you as well. Y'all already know what I say about the marriage thing. If you're not working on your marriage, then my friends, what are you doing? It's your boy Quest. Peace. What up y'all, it's your boy Quest, man. Listen, I am a firm believer in marriages winning. That's right, including yours. So if you know somebody that might be able to use this information or you might be able to use this information, subscribe, comment in the section below, like, and like I said, share with someone else, all right? If you wanna reach me on social media, yeah, my Instagram link is over to the left, all right? Peace.